A dental implant is an artificial tooth root replacement uh, that replaces missing teeth in the mouth. I've got some models here, um, which I'll show you. If you imagine that a, a tooth has been uh, missing and a tooth has been taken out, an implant is an artificial uh, tooth root, so very similar to this. It's made in titanium, uh, it resembles uh, a tooth root, and it's surgically inserted into the patient's jawbone. Once the implant is placed in the jawbone, we then leave it for a full three months for it to integrate with the bone, so allowing the bone cells to grow onto the implant, making it rock solid. After the three months period, we place a post into the implant, which is physically screwed into the implant, and then an artificial crown made in normally made in porcelain is cemented or screwed on top of that there we have it i ask every single patient uh, how their treatment went and whether they felt um, uh, any pain or any discomfort uh, during and after the procedure uh, the feedback that i have received uh, is that it's very similar to having a tooth uh, taken out. Research suggests that a dental implant uh, is 97% successful. So successful meaning that an implant has integrated with the bone um, for over a five year period. So that, that, is, that is generally what's classified as success. Uh, in my personal uh, practice so in my own hands um, my specific success rate is currently 99.6 percent in any surgery um, whether it be in the mouth or outside of the mouth uh, there are two main types broadly speaking uh, types of complications uh, one is to do with trauma so trauma to the blood vessels or nerves or any other vital structures um, and secondly, uh, infection. Now, we take uh, a lot of uh, diagnostic um, uh, precautions to ensure that we avoid nerves and blood vessels. Uh, a lot of uh, clinical uh, skill is performed to avoid um, uh, blood vessels and nerves, uh, as well as a very stringent uh, aftercare regime for um, the prevention of infection, uh, which is mainly due to uh, a poor level of oral hygiene where bacteria proliferate and causes uh, any wound in your body that's healing to delay the healing process uh, and exactly the same with dental implants. The failure rate at Synergy is very very low um, because we follow very very strict uh, guidelines and protocols. We have put a lot of efforts into uh, keeping our dental implants uh, prices low um, and there are two main reasons for this uh, one is that uh, we take a, a, a less of a profit number one um, and number two uh, we because we are so successful uh, in fact one of the leading providers of dental implants within the areas of our practices um, we we can demand a better rates from suppliers uh, we Pass that saving on to our patients.